I'll show you my weightlifting uh, program uh, right now. Uh, I lift weight maybe once, twice a week. Uh, I'm not a bodybuilder. And the way we train, like for, for MM, professional MMA fighter, the way, the, the way we train, it's not the same as bodybuilder. So you will see my, my training, it's a lot more hard, you know, hard for the, the heart. Because the way I train, it's more cardiovascular. So the goal, the goal of my training is not to become with bigger arm. For sure, it's gonna get, develop my muscle. It's gonna make me stronger and faster. But it's 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 got it's the goal of it, this. It's to help my my it's make make my heart stronger to pump the blood in my muscle, give me the explosion during the fight. So. Uh, Every, uh, every sequence is followed by uh, four different exercises. It's a super set, it's a super set of four uh, different exercises. And in each four different exercises, I have to do 10 reps. So uh, enjoy and uh, watch me do it for you. And the first sequence is uh, focus more on the chest and the, the back. One thing very important too that I, I forgot to tell you, I almost forgot. When you lift weight, try to never be alone. Because when you're alone, you can't push yourself to your maximum. Because sometimes when you push yourself to your maximum, you can't lift the bar. You need somebody to, you need a spot to help you. You know, it's very important. When you're alone, it's good to train, but you can't push really to your maximum. Like now, I, I don't lift heavy charge because I'm alone. I can't, I don't want to take the risk to enjoy myself. So let's go. Let's get it on. The first set is done. I have to do two more. I have to, do, to repeat this sequence three times. So, and between each break, I have to, between each sequence, I have to take like a minute, minute and a half break because now my heart is pumping. <laughs> the next sequence is uh, more for the legs and the calf. Uh, it's gonna give you the power kick and to sh you know, to, to go for something, to, to run. And that's the exercise that will, ki will kill me the most. Is the most difficult difficult one. Why? Because the the leg is the strongest part of our body, and with the leg you can you can live some very heavy charge. One thing I forgot to say before I start the, this training is try to always train with a partner. Never try to do this alone because when you're alone, you, you don't have a spot and you can enjoy yourself. So sometimes you don't have choice. Like right now, I'm alone, but I I live very. Uh, very light uh, charge, you know. I don't try to to lift uh, every charge, so be careful with that and try to to find a partner to train with you. Fuck, 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 fuck
The next exercise is more for the back and the abdomen, the, the abs. It's it's also for the 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 core strength. So the core strength is very important in mixed martial art, and that that's what that's why we, with core strength we can lift and you know lift people and slam people down. So and also strike, you know, because a punch, the, the strength of a punch come by by this, you know, doesn't come by the arm. If we have big arm, doesn't mean we we hit harder than somebody who has small arm. You know, the punch is coming by the, the core swing. You know, the core swing and the the, the, the foot on or foot on the, on the ground. So I'll show you uh, the next sequence. It's always uh, four set of uh, ten uh, rep each. So let's go. This is it for this one. Uh, for the last super set, it's actually the, the last one uh, for today. Um, it's a combo of four super set, ten rep each. Same thing. It's more for the shoulder, uh, traps, bicep, tricep, and forearm. So enjoy again.
so that's it. Uh, I just finished. Right now, uh, I suggest you when you finish this training to go take a, a good shower because if you did it good, you must uh, stay stink a little bit. So uh, have a good shower and uh, take a break uh, before your other training uh, tonight. Thank you and uh, enjoy it. Another part of my conditioning training is the sprint. Uh, sprint, you can do it like once, twice a week. It's very, very hard. Uh, for your cardio, it's very hard. And it, it's gonna help you to recuperate between the round. So it, it, it's all about this. It's all about the heart. So the way it's work is, so first of all, you have to, you have to, to buy good shoes, you know? Not, not normal shoes. To, to do the, the, the sprint, you need to have a, a good, good shoes made for it, you know? Good running shoes. And don't do it in the street. Because if you do it, do it in the street, the ground is not made for it. You can, maybe not the first time, but maybe after a couple uh, sprint training, you, you're gonna start to have pain to your knee, pain to your lower back. That's what happened to me the first time I started. Because it, it's so hard, so to, you have to do it properly. Buy a good shoes and sprint in a, in a track and field place, you know? A place, not in the street, the street is it's too hard. You have to, to sprint in a place, it's made for it. So then after, when you're ready to do it, um, before to start, you have to warm up, like go, you have to jog like five minutes be before you start uh, running. Jog like five minutes just to warm up yourself. And then you can stretch a little bit your, your legs and your, your arms. And then when you're ready, uh, you, you start to do like a, a sprint of 30 seconds. Okay, you sprint for 30 seconds, and then after you, after the 30 seconds, you, you stop, and you, you time yourself. You time one minute and a half break, 90 second break. You during this break, you can walk like this, you know, take a, a good breath, and then after you do it again, 30 second sprint, and up, 90 second break. You do it three times. After the third time. Okay, you take your, your, third, your 90 second break, you start to, 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 to reduce your, your time of sprint, but when you reduce your time of sprint, you reduce your break too. So after the, the 90 second break, you take a 20, 20 second break, spr 20 second sprint. So you sprint for 20 seconds. When you stop, you take 60 second break. You do it three times, okay? You do it three times, and during your, your break, I know you're very tired, but don't, don't doing this. When you're doing this, it's the worst thing you can do. It's like a, when you drink a, a Pepsi, you know? You, if you bend your straw, you, the, the juice not gonna, the liquid not gonna pass. Same thing for you. During your, your break, if you bend your body like this, the, the oxygen not, not gonna pass. So you have to walk, even if it's hard, walk and keep walking like this. You know, I know it's very hard. So you take, you, you take a one minute break for a 20 second sprint. So you did it three times again. And for, for to finish, after your 60 second break, the, 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 third, the third one, the last time, you do like 10 second sprint, but 30 second break. You do it for three times too. So after you're done. So you, re you remember, uh, sometime you wake up in the morning and you're like, you feel like, you feel like shit, you know, you, you don't feel like to go away, to lift weight or go do your sprint. The thing is, not, not, don't reduce the intensity of your training, but reduce the, the time of your training. Keep the same intensity, and sometimes you, you feel like, you feel like shit, you know, but as soon you're gonna st start training, you, you, you're, gonna, you, you're gonna feel like you want to do more and more and more, you're gonna do like a normal training. So, this is a little thing that I, that I just want to let you know, you know, it's very important. And remember, you know, the harder is your training, the easier is the fight. So train hard and uh, you, you, you're going you're gonna to see the result uh, in the ring or in the octagon. Thank you.